Does anyone else know Trina's part? Assisted us. Me, sister? No, 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 no. I, I just helped them rehearse. I'm not even a student here. I couldn't go. You know this whole thing inside and out. The song, the choreography. You can do this. Come on. Uh -uh. She said she'll do it. <laughs> no, I didn't say it. Whoa, whoa. Go. She can't go on stage wearing that. Excuse me. Go get her something cool to wear. Okay. I am not going. Bring her. Okay. No. What? <laughs> Mr. Eichner, our principal. You don't go to school here? No, uh, I just. Uh... Do you want to? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Well, should I? Yes. <laughs> but, but, but the kids who go here are all like crazy talented. Yes, so are you. No, yes. Yes. But what if I'm not good enough? No, no, no. no. if she's good enough to go to school here. What do you people think? OK. OK! <laughs> OK, today we're going to do some alphabetical improv. What is alphabetical improv, you ask? So I answer. It's when we give a letter to the first actor who speaks in the scene. If we use the letter A, as an example, then the actor must make his first word start with the letter A, which might go something like... 
apples are falling out of my butt. Lovely. Now, the next actor who speaks must start his line with the next letter in the alphabet, in this case, B, so he might say... Bring those apples so that we may all enjoy the fresh fruit from Beck's butt. Charming. Now, who wants to lead the first group? I do. All right, Tori, choose your actors. Okay. Andre, Kat, Beck, and Jade. Yeah, you. <laughs> Jade, kiss your boyfriend on your own time. Oh, I will. Okay, if you start your line with the wrong letter, you're out. Robbie, give us a letter. P. P. Oh, I was gonna say P. Okay, the scene can be about anything you want. The first letter of the first line is P. Tori, action. Please go take a shower. Quit telling me what to do. Relax, girls. Let's all try to get along. Totally. Cat, your line had to start with an S. Oh, my life's the worst. Here's a piece of candy. Yay, I love candy. All right, Andre, letter S to you. Uh, something just bit my toe. A turtle! That turtle just bit his toe. Unbelievable that you're even here. Very immature of you to say that. Uh... Come on, Andre, W! What if the turtle bite broke my toe bone? X-rays are the only way to find out. You should shut up. Zap! I just healed your toe with my magic finger. Thanks. Uh, Andre, your line had to start with an A. Sit down. Aw, I just got my toe bone fixed. Tori, letter A to you. Aliens are the only people who can heal toes by finger zapping. Uh, by the way. <laughs> Correct. I am an alien. <gasps> oh, a twist. Don't hurt me, please. Even though she's extremely annoying. Fainting, because I can't breathe your Earth's air. Gosh, it fainted. Excellent. Toy and Jane, keep going. The next letter's H. Hey, why don't you go jump off that cliff over there? I think you should. Just where did you come from? Kangaroos. Lousy animals, kangaroos. They're awkward and dirty. Maybe they learn from you. <laughs> no one talks to me like that. Obviously, someone should. Please run in front of a bus. Quite obnoxious of you to say. Really? Sure was. Thanks. Up oh, your nose, I see boogers. Very clever. Wish you thought of it. X marks a spot I'd like to punch. Your finger smells weird. Uh, zero is what you are on a scale from one to 10. And back to the letter A. As if I care what you think. You better watch yourself. Can't take it? Don't push me. Eat your pants. You eat your pants. Wait. Uh, sorry, Jade. The next letter was. Yeah, fine, no. Keep the scene going. Letter G. Get up, alien. Head feels dizzy. I know it'll make you feel better. Jumping jacks? Kiss me. Let's do it. Man, I love this school. You guys ready? Hey. Uh huh. Whatever. Make what shine? It's the title of the song I sang in the big showcase. Okay. Oh, whatever. Because, you know, that's what got me here in the first place. I don't like it. Maybe the words should be bigger. Yes. Yeah, if you really like the title of the song, like, maybe you really like I believe in my own choice, and I don't need approval from others. Ah, the young female has learned the ways of the bird scene. I still think it's dull. Yeah? Well, then maybe I should make it shine. Oh! Very nice. Yeah. OK, are we going to eat or what? Oh, yay, food. Come with? Sure. Yeah. Not in love with your mother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, next up we have Tori and Jade. Um, okay, 
Today, uh, for our scene, I'm gonna be playing an old lady who's walking home from a bingo game. And I play a brutal mugger. <laughs> yes, a brutal mugger who mugs me without actually hurting me. Okay, as always, be careful. And if anything goes wrong, just yell the safe word, which is butternut. <laughs> okay, guys, ready? And... Butternut what? <laughs> Tori, what's the problem? I was testing the safe word. It works! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. And... Action. Oh, I certainly did enjoy the bingo. Although I do miss Bob Hope. <laughs> Give me your money. I ain't playing. Give me your money and your watch. Well, wouldn't you rather have this? Ow! <laughs> Butternut! <laughs> Butternut! She's bleeding! Cut! Oh, oh. Let me see, let me Are see. you okay? No, Tori hit me in the face for real. No, I didn't. Tell that to my bloody eye. Ow! All right, you better sit down. Somebody grab a chair. Yeah, quickly, get a chair. Quick, get a chair. Here, here, here. Here you go. Here we go. Just sit down. Ah! That was a breakaway chair! No, oh, butternut! What the? Hey! Why am I in a gigantic cereal bowl? What? What's happening? Feel my snub. My God. Rex, how did you? You're so big. Have this. Rex, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Melinda's character yells, get out. Jake! You! That's when you fire the crossbow, and the arrow should strike the wall right around here. Yeah. Wait, what's my cue? When Melinda yells, get out. Got it! Okay, let's get ready to shoot one. Melinda? Melinda? Ugh, who let you on the stage? Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have corrected you. Michael! No, 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 we don't need Michael! No, Michael! <laughs> Look, I just want to say I'm sorry, but you shouldn't get mad at Beck because he didn't just... Even... go away. Come on, just let Beck have his part back. It's not his... Get part. out! Show me me. <laughs> wow, look at me. I'm hideous. Oh, you really think so? Yeah, I totally look like a zombie. Yay, I'm not a failure. Oh, hey, let's go scare my sister. Okay. Trina, come see something. Is it for me? Yeah, sure. For a story. Did they deliver my vibrating hairbrush? <laughs> oh, come on! How could you not be scared by this? I've seen her grandmother naked. Nothing scares me anymore. <laughs> come on, let me get some pics of your face. Okay, I want some apple juice. Then go get some. Fine, I'll do it myself. Okay, come over here into the light. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is this for? Oh, that's glue. 
Yeah, but why is it with your makeup supplies? What's the problem? This is grizzly glue. It's like an industrial cement. Heh. <laughs> Cat, tell me you didn't use this on Tori's face. Uh. <laughs> Give me that. For industrial use only, caution, avoid contact with skin cats. I'm sorry. Why didn't you use dermaglue? I ran out, so I got that out of my dad's toolbox. Cat, are you insane? Will it come off? I don't know. Why didn't you read the label? Because I got distracted by the picture of the cute grizzly bear. I mean, look at him. He's like a fuzzy cat. Light. Hey! I'm sorry. This is not gonna work. Uh uh. You guys, I'm playing the lead in a big musical tomorrow night, and my character's supposed to be beautiful. Well, you do not look beautiful. <laughs> look, worst comes to worst, you postpone the play. No, I can't. Sophia Michelle is coming to see it. Oh, wow, that's so exciting. No, it's not. Why not? Because I'm a rotten zombie! <laughs> I got pizza. I know, we're gonna help you out. Bye. I'm sorry. Just say you'll marry me. Excuse me, but most women don't want to be screamed at when they're being proposed to. Oh, come on. I'm rich. I'm handsome. I have nine boats. Stop acting like a stupid girl. Wait, you got a little something right there. What? This. Oh. <laughs> My choice is clear I knew when only you and I were standing here And beautiful is all I see It's only you, I know it's true It has to be for 
a woman just like me. There's a lake they call Lake Michigan. I think I'm really fitting in. This city is my perfect cup of tea. Chicago! 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 The doctor says I ain't never gonna walk again. Not even on crutches. But I'm gonna tell you I'm a woman in Chicago who's scared. <laughs> I'm home. Happy first week! <laughs> 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 oh, you bad, you bad. Oh. Make a wish. Oh. There. With a special surprise. Oh, oh whoa, you are gonna love this. <laughs> You're gonna love it. What is going on? Just relax. I don't wanna make a scene. I don't wanna let you down. Try to do my own thing And I'm starting to figure it out That it's alright Keep it together Wherever we go And it's alright Oh well, whatever Everybody needs to know You might be crazy Have I told you lately That I love you You're the only reason That I'm not afraid to fly And it's crazy That someone could change me Now no matter what Even care when they say you're a little bit off. Look in the eye, I say I can never get enough. Cause it's alright, keep it together wherever we go. And it's alright, oh well, whatever. Everybody needs to know. You might be crazy. Have I told you lately that I love you? You're the only reason that I'm not afraid to fly. No matter what it is I have to do, I'm not afraid to try. And you need to know that you're the reason why. If it was raining, you would yell at the sun. Pick up the pieces when the damage is done. You say it's just another day in the shade. Look at what a mess we made. to Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. Robberazzi, your home for up-to-the-minute tasty gossip about the students at Hollywood Arts. Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. Oh my God. Coming up on Robberazzi, Tori Vega's pimple, shrinking or growing. Don't touch it. Also, does Andre Harris have a ketchup problem? Does Sinjin Van Cleef steal famous teeth? Probably. Is it Splitsville for Beck and Jade? All this and tons more on Robberazzi, starring Robbie Shapiro. He's a dead man. Beck and I aren't splitting up. Well, dude. Kidding. I use an appropriate amount of ketchup. Let's go fix this right now. Uh, Kat, are you coming? Oh my God, underwear that floats! Okay, what do we got? What do we got? 
Um, I got Kat receiving another order from that Sky Store catalog thing. Whoa, uh, isn't that like her fifth delivery this week? Yeah, chick's out of control. No doubt. Oh. No! There were supposed to be two packages. I only got one. It was supposed to get here on... Hey, why are you shooting this? Who are you with? Robberazzi. Oh! Ooh, girl's got a problem. No doubt. And, uh... I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's probably not her natural hair color. <laughs> Funny stuff, Rob. Okay, what else we got? Hey, I don't use any more ketchup than the next guy. Whoa, 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 come on, you guys. We're in the middle of taping my show. Beck and I are not Splitsville. Well, is there something you want to talk about? Kidding. Uh, are you guys getting this? Because this is really great stuff. Robbie! You're not gonna have any friends left if you keep exploiting us for your dumb blog. Okay. We have Tori freaking out. Is he serious? <laughs> really? This is ridiculous. Uh, dude, it's dude, it's what you This is your last chance. Are you gonna stop this Robberazzi thing or not? Coming up on Robberazzi, Tori, Andre, Beck, Jade, all caught on a psychotic rampage. Is anyone safe? You're a killer. I'm not. I loved her. You're a killer! I loved her! Yeah, they do. Ooh, shh, here come more credits. You said you put all our names at the end. I did. Dale must have taken them off. Thank you. He's taking all the credit. Thank you so much. Oh, that was sick. He's taking all the credit. I can't believe this. Yes! My face still hurts. You're coming. Good. Found him. I was trying to stop that man from choking. Yeah, this is really important. You got your machine set for X to die? Yeah. It'll flatline in exactly 15 minutes. Shh, everyone, get ready, get ready. I'm afraid his injuries are very serious. They don't think he's gonna make it. What in the name of Nancy is going on here? I'll leave you and Rex alone so you can say your goodbyes. Wait, Tori, will you stay? Oh no, why me? Well, for one thing, you caused this. And I just really need the comfort of a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, it's bad. All right, children. How many of you like a musical group called The Wagafuffles? Yeah! Yes, well, they're not here. Be like that? Mm hmm. I heard the Wagafuffles airplane fell on a mountain. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the, the important part is we have a brand new musical group to do a song for you today. Yeah! 
Uh, all right, I give you the, um, the, or the diddly bops. Hi, kids. Apparently, we're the diddly bops. We're here to sing you a special song. All about your favorite foods. Sing about dinosaurs. No! <laughs> now get ready! What I like about cheese is that you can put it on veggies and it tastes mm -mm, so good. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do. Every treat from yellow to blue. Ooh, red and green, so let's all sing. Tell me all about your favorite food. Mine is pizza. And I like hamburgers too. I'll eat ice cream cake till my tummy aches. But then here's what I'll do. Some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Ooh. In my tummy. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Take this. A thousand bucks. Not enough. Well, I like noodles in a bowl. A chicken nuggets make me lose control. Because they taste mm -mm, so good. What I'll do, here's what I'll do. Share some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Do another song. No! <laughs> Happy birthday, Henry. We did this for money. What role will Cat be playing at the great Psychowitz sleepover? Cat will play a 1980s stand up comedian who's very annoying. I want to be a unicorn. You can't. Fooey. Now, Cat, who will Robbie be playing? Well, I've decided Robbie's role should be a motivational speaker. Oh, pfft, I could do that who just drank some weird beverage that makes his legs weak and wobbly. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm a motivational speaker with jelly legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm creative. <laughs> Wonderful. Robbie, tell us the character you've chosen for Beck. Sure. One sec. Okay, Beck will be playing a guy from England whose accent is really hard to understand and he's always invading people's personal space. No problem. Andre, what do you have in store for Toro? Did you just call me Toro? Maybe. It's Tori. I know, but I do love that fatty tuna. Should I be offended? Okay, uh, Tori's character will be a cop who wears way too much red lipstick and is obsessed with Raisin Bran. Where did you come up with that? Well, see, I had this dream last night, and this lady cop was all like... <laughs> she was all like... <laughs> and then I was like... <laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> all right, Tori, tell us what Jade will be. Love to. Jade will be an innocent farm girl from Alabama who's always super sweet and nice and never gets upset about anything. I'd rather slam my tongue in a car door. Now tell us who Andre will be playing. Uh, fine. You're gonna be a guy who's just finished running a marathon. Okay. Who also happens to be nine months pregnant. Who's his daddy? 
feeling your guys' ping pong team was just a big fake and I was right. You weren't practicing ping pong. You were playing retro party games. So what is up? Let's just tell her. No. Yes. I think we should tell her. Why don't we just drive her out to the desert and drop her off? Rex! She knows too much. Tell her. There's no real ping pong team. Ah! <laughs> then what's this all about? Well, it all started two years ago when the school put that ping pong table in this room. We just walked in, and there it was. <laughs> then Robbie suggested that we form an official ping pong team here at Hollywood Arts to compete against other schools. So I slapped Robbie hard on top of his head. It really hurt. <laughs> it really hurt. I heard that. So? So a few days later, me, Andre, Jade, and Robbie were hanging out. When Kat walked up. She was all pumped up about some fancy restaurant her parents took her to the weekend before. They had amazing steaks and crab cakes and lobster mashed potatoes and classy live music and the most insane desserts I had ever tasted. Which all sounded pretty good to us. So I said, well, we gotta go there. And I told Robbie there was no way we could go there because it's really expensive. Where is the story going? It actually gets weirder. You see, when Kat told us that the restaurant was too expensive... I remembered something Becca told me about all the sports teams at Hollywood Arts getting a minimum of $1,500 a year to pay for travel and equipment. And that's, that's when, when I, I got, got the idea. idea. Oh, right, I was telling a story. Uh, I said maybe we should form a fake ping pong team, take the 1500 bucks, and use the money for all of us to have a fancy dinner at the restaurant Kat told us about. At first, we thought Jade's idea was crazy. But after we exchanged some looks... We started to think it might be a pretty cool idea. But then Robbie said, wait. I reminded everyone that all sports teams are required to have at least one faculty advisor. So we went to the only teacher we could trust. Psychowitz. But he told us our plan was way too devious. And illegal. But then he said, hey, did you hear that Principal Eichner might get fired? Help me. See, the principal's boss. The superintendent. Was mad because Hollywood Arts didn't have any winning sports teams. And he told Principal Eichner at least one team better bring home a trophy this year, or else you're fired. So I said to Psychowitz, what if the five of us, six, six of us, pretend to go to a ping pong tournament, take the 1,500 bucks the school gives us, use 400 of it to buy a nice trophy for the school, which would keep Principal Eichner from getting fired. And then use the rest of our money to take our favorite teacher to the restaurant Kat told us about. And have the most amazing dinner of our lives. And then Psychowitz was on board. So you guys formed a fake ping pong team so you could get some money, buy a trophy for the school, save the principal's job, and take Psychowitz out for a big fancy dinner? Yeah, I guess we could have just told it that way. <laughs> So, are you gonna bust us now and ruin everything? No. If, if what? And I'm very proud to announce the newest member of the Hollywood Arts Ping Pong Team, Tori, the Paddle Puss, Vega! <laughs> Wish us all luck, and hopefully we'll bring home yet another first place trophy for Hollywood Arts! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The six 
situation turns around Enough to figure out that someone else has let you down So many times I don't know why But I know we can make it As long as you say it So tell me that you love me Yeah And tell me that I take your breath away And maybe if you take one more Then I would know for sure There's nothing left to say But tell me that you love me anyway So tell me that you love me anyway Whoa, whoa. Waking up beside yourself what you feel inside is being shared with someone else Nowhere to hide, I don't know why But I know we can make it As long as you say it So tell me that you love me Yeah And tell me that I take your breath away And maybe if you take one more then I would know for sure There's nothing left to say But tell me that you love me anyway <laughs> Show me, look what we found it's Turning around every day I can hear what you say Now I know why I know we can make it If you tell me that you love me Yeah and tell me that I take your breath away And maybe if you take one more So tell me that you love me, yeah And tell me that I take your breath away And maybe if you take one more Then I would know for sure There's nothing left to say But tell me that you love me anyway Jackie Bonet, you've been eating for over an hour. <laughs> when can I take my picture with you? So, just <laughs> eat slower. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving. I have achieved maximum hotitude. <laughs> oh. I've never been this thirsty. For the first time in my life, my tongue isn't moist. These fish mock me. How dare they swim around enjoying that filthy water? I'm gonna drink that filthy water. No, 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 
Well? Don't drink the fish water. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. When I was a little boy, my grandma, before she lost her mind, <laughs> she used to say to me, Andre, no matter how bad things get, you can always make it better by singing a song. That's so stupid. You, you don't have to be afraid to put your dreams in action. Never call a fade, you'll be the main attraction. Not a, a fantasy. fantasy. Just remember me when it turns out right. Cause you know that if you live in your own bed. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sweaty. Never speak of it! What happened? We were trapped in there! For hours. Hope you had a nice pee. Trapped? Why didn't you guys just open the door? Cuz, there's a gigantic RV parked right in the... I guess they left and we didn't even know. Who cares? It's over. <laughs> I drank fish water. It's all right. Come on, guys, it's only 4.30, and there's a large Pacific Ocean right over there! Let's enjoy that ocean! What's that noise? Open the door! Is that Jade? Yeah. I'm busy working on a project! I need to talk to you! Sorry, door's locked. <laughs> Now it's not locked. She has a key? No, she has a foot. What is going on? You just kicked my door open. Put the dog down and tell me about this cheerleader chick who lives next door. I'm not going to put the dog down. Oh, aren't you? If you want to meet the cheerleader, she'll be back any minute to pick up her dog. Then I'll wait for her. Whatever you want. OK, can we get back to writing the script now? Yeah, let's get this done. Okay, boys in the closet, face being eaten, mom walks in and... Another video chat request? Who is it now? Someone named Lil Stephanie 21. Who's she? I don't know, let me see. Hello. Robbie! Dude! Oh, come on. You created a fake screen name? You denied my real one. But why Lil Stephanie 21? Because Lil Stephanie 1 through 20 were taken. What? You couldn't have picked a boy's name? Says a lot, doesn't it? Look, don't you guys agree that if a person says he'll see a movie with you on Sunday night, he should honor that commitment and not just leave me hanging? What happened to Robbie? My finger. I call it Rex's all hot girl bonnet ball squad. <laughs> First time here? Um, yeah. If you get nervous, I'll hold your hand. I get nervous when my brother eats things that aren't food. Seriously, I think he ate my charm bracelet. What's your name? Andre. That's hot. All right. 
You have insane hair. Yeah, uh, my hair was normal, and then one day just went insane. <laughs> Sad story. I like your story. Um, hi. Miss? What? He has a girlfriend. I don't see her. Turn around. Now you see her. I don't see much. Okay. So, uh, uh, hey, did you know that karaoke comes to us from the Japanese? Yeah, how great is Japan, right? Good people. Hey, check out dude's jacket. <laughs> oh, Hollywood Arts. The school for wannabes. You know, you might want to be shutting your face there. Really? Really. Huh. Hey, <laughs> look what they got on the menu. <laughs> buffalo nuggets. <laughs> well, that's good news. <laughs> Not for the buffalo. So, Hollywood arts, you girls gonna sing tonight? Well, we didn't come for the buffalo nuggets. <laughs> but we are gonna get some, right? I don't care. And yeah, we're singing tonight. Awesome. So are we. I like Japan. Except my brother got stabbed there. It was an accident. He's better now. You've just heard the melodious voices of our champions, Haley and Tara. Well, they've picked the challenger to sing next, and then you, the audience, are gonna pick a winner by your own applause. Are you guys down? Yeah. All right! What's your name up at the mic there? Louise Nordoff. Wow, that's a name. What do you want to sing tonight, Louise? Um... I would like to sing Freak the Freak Out. <laughs> really? Are you sure? That's a pretty intense tune. I'd like to sing it now, please. All right. Here comes Louise singing Freak the Freak Out. Make that face. <laughs> Are you listening? Hear me talk, hear me sing. Open up the door. Is it less? Is it more? Would you tell me to be where? Are you here? Are you there? Is it something I should know? Easy come, easy go. Not in your head. Don't hear a word I said. I can't communicate. When you wait, don't we lay. I try to talk to you, but you never. Okay. 